Hello again boys and girls. In this video we are going to be talking about some of our vocabulary this week. So let's look at our first word. Our first word is utensils. They used forks because these were the best utensils for eating pieces of watermelon. Everyone say utensils with the computer. Ready? Utensils. Nice job. Utensils are tools that we use to cook or to eat something. And the example they gave was that they used forks because these were the best utensils for eating pieces of watermelon. And you can see that in the picture because the watermelon, you can stick it with the fork and it'll hold on. What kind of utensil do you usually use to store soup? Ah, oh, maybe a spoon. I made a big pot of turkey soup yesterday with my leftover turkey. And I used a big spoon to keep stirring the spot. Look at the picture. The child is using a utensil. He is using a fork. Let's go to our next vocabulary word. Listen to it. Uniform. The baker wears a white uniform with a hat. Everyone would say uniform with the computer. Ready? Uniform. The baker wears a white uniform with a hat. Okay, so we listen to what the baker does again, but you only had to say the word uniform. Uniform. So, let's listen to what a uniform is. Uniform. A uniform is special clothing that workers wear on their jobs. So, sometimes workers can work in their everyday clothing, and sometimes they need special clothing. In this case, the baker wears a white uniform with a hat and it helps him to do his job. What kind of uniform would you like to wear? Mm, there's still for types out there, is it though? Doctors wear a white doctor's coat. Nurses wear what we call scrubs. Policemen wear uniforms. Firefighters wear the jacket and the hat and everything. Then you have people in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Air Force. They all wear different types of uniforms. And I'll bet you could think of a lot of others that I didn't even talk about. So the baker in this picture is wearing a white uniform because he uses the uniform to keep his clothing clean. The hat keeps his hair in place, keeps it out of the food, and the white jacket keeps the ingredients from what he's baking, whether it's breads or cookies or cakes. It keeps the stuff from splashing on his clothes. Let's look at our next word. Equipment. Okay, let's listen to that again. Equipment. The gardener's equipment includes a shovel and a watering can. Everyone say equipment with the computer. Ready? Equipment. Nice job. And so equipment is something, special tools that someone uses to do a job. For example, the gardener's special tools are the shovel and the watering can. What kind of special equipment does an art teacher use? What do you think? If you're in group A, you actually had art in school one day with Mrs. Kane. What type of equipment would they use? They might use dry erase markers to write on the board. 
They could use crayons, coloring pencils, markers, paint, glue, scissors. There's all kinds of equipment they might use. Let's look at the picture again. Do you see the special equipment in the picture? You see the watering can here. You see the shovel. It looks like they've used the shovel to dig a hole and planted the tree. And now the tree is planted, so they are watering it with the watering can to give it a good start. Okay, on to the next word. Expect. I expect that we will read a new book today. If you expect something, you think it's going to happen. I expect that we will read a new book today. Usually at the beginning of each new week in reading, we read a new book, don't we? You're getting into that habit. And so you come to expect it. You come to think that it's going to happen. What do you expect the next time you get to go to the playground at school? Well, it might depend on which equipment we're on that day. If we are on the swings, you'll expect to be swinging. If we are on the Big Kid Island or the Little Kid Island, you would expect to be climbing and going down slides. If we're in the field, you might expect to be playing with the frisbees or the balls. And if we're on the basketball court, you might expect to be playing with the basketballs or the hula hoops. So there, it depends on which equipment we're on, what you expect to be doing. Okay, let's go to the next road. Remained. The baby kangaroo remained in its mother's pouch for a long time. Something that remained in a place stayed there. It didn't leave. The baby kangaroo remained in its mother's pouch a long time, so it stayed there a long time. How many of you remained at home today instead of coming to school? All of you, didn't you? Because we're on remote learning. We're still in school. We're just doing school over the computer using Schoology um, and different platforms. But you remained at home. You stayed at home. Now let's look at the picture of the mother and the baby kangaroo again. This is showing the world remained. Because you see the baby kangaroo and its mother's pouch right here? It stayed there while she hopped around. And as the baby grows older, then it gets to leave the pouch because it's a little older and it can learn to do so safely. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of our vocabulary for this week. Thank you for listening.